What's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to take pictures in low light. I love material things because they light up the emptiness around me. I'm Adrian with AOJ Photography and we are here with the beautiful model Megan. I'm Megan Hannon. You can find me at Megan underscore Hannon on Instagram. Instead of using flash, we're actually gonna use constant light. A lot of people struggle with taking pictures in low light because it's hard for their camera to focus um, when they're using flash, but today I'm gonna show you guys how to use constant light. We're shooting with the Nanlite Forza 60B. This is one of my favorite lights, it's A, it's really small and compact, so when I'm working by myself, it's really easy to, to handle these. Also, they're bi-color, so depending on if I'm shooting outdoors, indoors, or at night, I can change the color temperature. For this setup, I'm just using a, a cheetah stand. We have a V-mount battery to give this power. This is a mini Bowens mount, so you have to get this adapter to make it a regular Bowens mount. All right, so you do that, and then I just plug the V-mount up to it. And that is how it gets power. All right, so the first thing is you wanna set your ambient exposure. We also gotta set our color temperature. We'll probably go down to 3200. Probably can go to about right there so I don't blow out the highlights and all the uh, neon signs. The next step is we wanna add in the light. All right, so what we see here, you'll see as I add in the light, if you look into her eyes, you'll see the catch light starting to come. I'm gonna rotate it over to the left a little bit so that left side, her right side of her face isn't as shadowy. And look, this light is only, this light is only at 16%. And tilt your face towards the light a little bit, but it bring it, yep, perfect. All right, so for this shot right here, I'm trying to get the light out of the sign, so I'm gonna have to move the light backwards. So because I am moving the light away from her, I am gonna have to turn up the intensity. So as long as the light stays the same distance from your model, you can keep, you can just move it around, but once you move it closer or further away, you do have to change the uh, settings on it. So for this one, I want, um, more of a stronger pose. So maybe spread your legs out a little bit and kind of, yeah, exactly, yep. So on this shot, Megan's sitting down. So I'm gonna have to lower the light. It's up a little too high. So we're just gonna lower it down to get more of a catch light into her eyes. Perfect. So right here, I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like with ambient lighting. I'm just gonna adjust my settings accordingly, and then we're gonna add in light, and I'm gonna show you the difference. So right here, I'm at ISO 16,000 without adding in any light in. Now by adding in the NAN light, I'm able to go to ISO 2000 and get a much cleaner image. Look at the greenish tint on the image on the left. There's also a lot of shadows on the model's face. All right, and just twist your head this way, like um, more towards me. Like just perfect, just like that. This is with the nan light turned on, and this is available lighting. Turn towards the light just like that. This, yep, perfect. Yeah, yep, yep. Things because they light up the emptiness around me. Nothing can hurt as bad as human beings And so I'm best friends with these I got the brand new Nikes on my motorbike I take it up to 90 just to feel alive I'll keep them right until reality is out of sight 93, 94, 95 I bought a beach house so I wouldn't fall apart Made a significant investment in Plastic and polyester filling up my broken heart Finally, I'm a real superstar